Good day. I am Julius C. Castro, a faculty member of the College of Engineering and Architecture of Bohol Island State University in the Philippines. I will be presenting the research study entitled Steps, a Development of Students' Employability Prediction System Using Logistic Regression Model Based on Principal Component Analysis. Together with my co-authors, Cherry D. Kasuat, Dean Cameron P. Evangelista, Nino E. Merencilia, and Christina P. Atal. In today's notion, the reputation of an institution is judged by its academic success and how well it provides employment for its students soon after graduation. Employability has been described in many ways, like the ability to secure a job shortly after graduation, the ability to skill map oneself according to the job need, or the willingness of the student to extend the learning at work. Employability skills were described as those necessary not only to acquire employment, but also to advance within an organization in order to reach one's maximum potential and to contribute effectively to its strategic directions. From an employer's perspective, employability relates to job readiness, which includes abilities, experience, and attitudes realization that will allow graduates to make meaningful contributions to their organizational objectives. Employability improves or enhances through the acquisition of knowledge, skills, experience, personality, emotional intelligence, and career learning. This research aimed to establish what skills would lead to better employability of students based on jobs, strengthened by a basic awareness of skills in employability. The National Association of Colleges and Employers develops the list of employability skills which are outlined as essential reading and numeracy abilities, analytical thinking skills, organizational skills, communication skills, competencies in computer technology, program thinking skills, and job ethics. This study focused on acquiring employability skills training and did not explore the acquisition of employability skills through co-curricular activities or in internships methods. The data set was collected from the Model Career Center in the Philippines, where employability skills for a qualified workforce were identified by the industry partner during the annual dialogue with employers in the industry. Every student who will undergo on-the-job training was required to undergo mock job interview before they will, be, they will be deployed to an interview with the company they wish to apply for. The data set consisted of 1,000 observations, pre-processing data sets. The table of all the features were gathered and was first examined if there are missing values to ensure that everything was treated properly before the data would be deployed and analyzed. This is done to ensure that the gathered data sets will not lead to misinterpreted results in the course of PCA and logistic regression analysis. Figure one shows the histogram of all predictors. Graphically indicates how the data sets for every feature look like. The predictors were professionalism and branding, confidence, comprehension, communication skills, growth potential, and student performance rating. Principal component analysis. It is a statistical technique employed for the reduction of the dimensions of a complex and highly correlated data set to a smaller data set. The new smaller sets of variables formed are uncorrelated and conveys reasonably significant representation of the information contained in the original data set. The main components obtained from the principal component analysis known as the principal components are linear combinations of the original variables accounting for the common and unique variability explained by them. By an entire table to be analyzed, be represented by a matrix X, and X is equal to I X sub J, equation one, where I refers, refers to observations and J refers to variables. The essence of pre-processing the linearly correlated variables before the analysis is to center the column of X so that the main of each column is equal to zero. That means here zero is a j by one vector of zeros and one is an i by one vector of ones. x t sub i is equal to zero equation two, where zero is a j by one vector of zeros and one 
is an I by one vector of ones. Besides centering the columns, when the variables are measured with different units, each variable would need to be standardized to, unit, to a unit norm. This is achieved by dividing each variable by its norm, which is the square root of the sum of all the squared elements of the variables. In that case, the analysis is referred to a correlation of PCA, since the generated matrix is a correlation matrix. PCA undergoes the following steps in transforming linearly correlated variables to uncorrelated variables. One, extraction of initial components. Two, retained in a model. Three, rotation of matrix based on factor loadings to obtain a solution. Four, interpretation of the solution. And five, presentation of the output in a table for interpretation. Principal component analysis and logistic regression. Having selected the principal components based on their eigenvalues and the variability in the dependent variable that the principal components can explain. The researchers use the principal component first and multiple linear regression analysis afterwards to train the algorithm. Based on the nature of the output of the principal component analysis, the researchers have made appropriate recommendations with respect to employability skills in accordance with the industry acceptable employability signals. Results and discussion. Descriptive analysis is an important first step for conducting statistical analysis. It gives you an idea of the distribution of your data, helps you detect outliers and peoples, and enable you to identify associations among variables, thus making you ready to conduct further statistical analysis. This was the result of the PCA analysis in the data set that we had used. The idea of this is to reduce the number of features or variables of data set while preserving the information as much as possible. The data set undergone standardization, which is required in conducting PCA. The range of the continuous initial variables so that each will contribute equally to the analysis. Next was getting the covariance. Getting the covariance is to understand how the variables of the input data set are varying between them. Because sometimes variables are highly correlated that would mean they contain redundant information. So in order to identify these correlations, we compute the covariance matrix. Next is getting the eigenvalues. The eigenvalues, which are the linear algebra parameter that we need to compute from the covariance matrix in order to determine the principal components of the data. Before getting to the explanation of these concepts, let, let's us first understand what do we mean by principal components. In simplest terms, principal components are the new access that provide the best angle to see and evaluate the data so that the differences between the observations can be of better view. The growth potential confidence where growth potential is one of the most predictive features among all the features. After it undergone PCA analysis, it shows that growth potential confidence can be used to identify if the student is employable or not. We differentiate the result of student performance rating and growth potential confidence. It shows that growth potential was more predictive than student performance rating. This was, these were the results of the PCA. Three, communication skills. Four, student performance rating, and five growth potential were the most predictive attributes that contributes in the prediction. And here are the results of the logistic regression analysis. This is the comparison of actual versus predicted. The figure shows a, light, a slight difference of the actual versus predicted. And here are the different user interface of the system that we use. We have the Mac interview interface, the student view interface, faculty in charge, and career personal interface. Conclusion and future works. In this study, principal component analysis was employed to generate the dominant variables motivating to determine the most predictive predictors using PCA and multiple regression analysis. Thereafter, a principal component regression model was produced for the purpose of analyzing the employability skills of undergraduate students. 
The findings of this study suggest the following conclusions. One, that principal component analysis affords a simple and credible means of gaining an improved understanding of students' employability. Two, the principal component analysis is an effective analytical tool for handling data series deplored by multicollinearity. Three, that the two parameters identified to be outstanding project predictors to predict students' employability. And here are our reference lists. Thank you very much for listening and have a good day.